precisely injected within the specification of the orbit. Let me congratulate the entire ISRO community, the project teams, all the team members and our industrial partners for your outstanding contribution for accomplishment of this great mission. This is our 103rd launch from Sri Arikota and the eighth successive, successful mission of the LVM-3 launch vehicle. As all of you are aware, the previous LVM-3 vehicle, that is the LVM-3 M4, launched the most prestigious Chandrayaan-3 mission. That mission brought glory to the India as the first country to land the spacecraft successfully near the South Pole of the Moon. Today's mission has brought yet another important glory to India. The CMS-03 is the heaviest satellite launched by the LVM-3 to the GTO orbit so far. For accomplishing this, the vehicle has to be improved, the performance has to be improved in multiple directions for enhancing the payload capability by 10%. In today's mission, all the vehicles systems have performed satisfactorily and the orbit we achieved within the required specification. I am also happy to announce that till today we have done eight LVM3, LVM3 launches including the first experimental mission and all the launches so far accomplished by the LVM3 vehicle is 100% successful. <laughs> this great success is due to the open work culture of ISRO, meticulous and systematic mechanisms put in place for the review of various activities and the dedicated hard and smart work of Team ISRO along with our industrial partners. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate each and every one of you, our family members, our industrial partners and the academia who have wholeheartedly support for this mission. Coming to the satellite, the CMS-03 satellite is a multi-band communication satellite with coverage over a wide oceanic region, including the Indian landmass, and is designed for providing communication services for at least 15 years. The satellite incorporates a host of new technologies and yet another shiny example of Atmanibha Bharat. Let me congratulate the entire satellite team spread across various ISRO centers for realizing this very, very important, improved, complex satellite for the communication capability of our country. I must tell that we had really a tough, challenging time during the launch campaign. You know, the weather was not that cooperative. But then, let me take this opportunity to compliment each and every one of you, even under this difficult weather condition, we could come out successfully and accomplish this mission in a grand manner and successful manner. <laughs> Dear friends, let me also congratulate all the review team members, chairmen and members of various committees, including our mentors and earlier leaders who have soldier to soldier with us for accomplishment of this mission. We really congratulate and compliment each and every one of you and our family members on this occasion. And I also would like to announce an important experiment what we have carried out. The indigenously developed C-25 cryogenic stage. For the first time, we have, after successfully injecting the satellite in the orbit and reorienting the stage, for the first time, we have successfully ignited the thrust chamber for the first time, reignited the thrust chamber. And this is going to be a great experiment which is going to feed data for restarting the cryogenic stage in future for enabling the mission flexibility for placing multiple satellites in various orbits using the Bahubali rocket LVM-3. Once again, my heartiest congratulations to each and every one of you. Now, along with me, we have got the project directors of the both launch vehicle and satellite and all the center directors who have 